Boo Show again, and today I'm going to show you how to inspect your exhaust system for leaks. The exhaust system here was on a 97 Accord. While the look and location of the components will vary from vehicle to vehicle, and you'll have some extra components if you have a V-type engine, the inspection process is the same. You can use the information here on any vehicle. The most obvious thing to do first is start the engine and use your ears to isolate where the noise is coming from. Is it coming from the rear, midsection, or the front? This will allow you to focus on a specific area. On this vehicle it was coming from the rear and I found the leak quickly, but I'm going to go through the whole system to show you where the common leak points are. Start at the back and check the muffler body for leaks, especially around the rolled seams. And anywhere that there is a weld, that's where the pipe joins the muffler. As you can see this is pretty nasty but it's not leaking. Anywhere where a bracket welds to the pipe, that's another weld point. At the exhaust flanges, where the pipe is welded to the flange, also between the flanges. If you find a leak between the flanges, the first thing you want to try is make sure that the nuts are tight. And if that doesn't solve the issue, you're going to have to separate the two pieces of the pipe and check the gasket. You also want to check the mid pipe. Moving on down here. You have the resonator. You can just think of this as a, a pre-muffler, if you will. There's a weld around the outer shell here. Check that for leaks. Check the resonator body. Make sure it doesn't have any holes in it. Of course, there's another weld at the other end of the resonator. You have some more brackets welded on here. Here's the catalytic converter. You have another joint here. You have another weld here where, where the pipe is welded to the flange and a gasket. And here on this vehicle is where the flex pipe is located. This is another common cause for exhaust leaks. Now as these flex pipes get old, you may see this braid begin to pull away. That doesn't mean you need to replace it. This braid is here to protect the inner flexible pipe from road debris and to give it a bit of stiffness so it doesn't flex as much. Inside here is a corrugated pipe similar to the pipe that you have on the exhaust vent of your dryer. That's what seals in the exhaust gases, not this braid. If you look close at this braid you could clearly see that there are pretty large gaps in between it. There's no way that this would seal out exhaust gases. So if you see the braid a little bit disintegrated, that doesn't mean you have to replace the flex pipe, as long as it's not leaking. And obviously listen for leaks, and if you could feel exhaust leaking out, the pipe needs to be replaced. Moving on. Now this particular vehicle is a California emissions model, and it has this pre-catalytic converter. But it would also be another place to check. You can see the other end of the converter is welded to the downpipe here. It's actually part of the downpipe. If you're hearing exhaust noises coming from the front of the vehicle, particularly under the hood, you want to check the downpipe here. Make sure it's good. You can see there's another flange up here where the downpipe bolts to the exhaust manifold. Up there you want to check the flange. Make sure there's no exhaust leaking from the weld where the flange is welded on. If you have a leak between the flanges, make sure the bolts are tight. If they're tight, you're going to have to disassemble the joint and check the gasket. And last but not least, you have the exhaust manifold, which can also leak. Now here's the exhaust manifold. It's another common place for leaks to occur. It's covered by a heat shield. Most exhaust manifolds are because they get very hot. To remove them is pretty simple. You usually just remove a few bolts and they'll come right off. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give you a full view of the manifold, and that's because the O2 sensor goes through the heat shield here, and I don't want to remove that for this demonstration, so I'm just going to pull it back. 
Here's a look at the manifold. Factory manifolds are made of cast iron. And what happens is after years of cycling between hot to cold, the metal fatigues and cracks develop. The cracks let exhaust gas out and also lets air in. Air is let in because of how exhaust gases travel. They travel in pulses. The front of the pulse is at high pressure. The midpoint of the pulse is around atmospheric pressure and the tail end is below atmospheric pressure. The low pressure tail allows outside air into the exhaust stream. Here's why this matters. If you have a leak before the O2 sensor, the extra oxygen is detected by it which sends a false lean signal to the PCM. The PCM compensates by increasing the on time of the injectors, unnecessarily sending more fuel to be burnt in the combustion chamber. This extra fuel isn't needed and causes incomplete combustion, which raises the hydrocarbon content in the exhaust stream. The catalytic converter is designed to reduce the hydrocarbon content in the exhaust stream, but only if the air-fuel mixture is correct. The byproduct of the chemical reaction in the converter is heat. When the fuel mixture is too rich, the cat must work harder to reduce the HC level, which can cause it to overheat and melt down, rendering it useless. So basically you want to give the manifold a real good once-over. You want to check the entire manifold. Check the top, don't forget to check the bottom. And also obviously use the best indicator. Start the vehicle up and feel for any exhaust gases coming out. Obviously do this when the vehicle's cold because these manifolds get very hot once the vehicle's been warmed up. You also want to check when the vehicle is cold because some smaller cracks will actually close as the manifold heats up and the metal expands. You also want to check the exhaust manifold gasket for leaks. It seals the manifold to the cylinder head and you can see a little bit of it sticking out right there. Want to check around the entire perimeter, make sure it's not leaking. If a manifold or a gasket's been leaking from some time, you'll usually find black carbon deposits around the leak. If a leak's pretty recent, you may not see that. So to recap, check the following common failure points in the system for leaks. Check the muffler body and its rolled seams. Check the flange joints, make sure the bolts are tight if a leak is between them. If the bolts are secure, disassemble the joint to inspect the gasket. Anywhere there's a welded seam, between the ends of the pipe and the flanges, exhaust brackets, where the resonator body is welded to the pipe, etc. The flex pipe itself, when they fail a hole will usually develop and you should be able to hear and feel exhaust gases leaking out. The downpipe joint that connects the exhaust system to the exhaust manifold. If a joint is leaking, make sure the fasteners are secure as they can loosen from vibration and cause a leak. And last but not least, the exhaust manifold. Check for cracks in it and leaks between the manifold and the cylinder head. Make sure the manifold to cylinder head bolts are tight. If they are, you'll have to remove the manifold and inspect the gasket for damage and the mating surfaces to make sure they're flat.